What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into uh, Carlissa Spaz and Om Jocelyn, girl. Anything, girl. I'm a real bitch. Blue face mom, Carlissa Spaz is on Jocelyn after interview on Auntie Podcast. Let's get it. For a few, a few of the bloggers to get in here real quick. <laughs> So y'all can deliver this message. and I'm They gonna, love to call for us, but be mad when they call for us. Don't say it one time and one time only. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, I see a few bloggers in here. I want y'all to run tell this. Run tell this real quick. Tell the Puerto Rican kid. She did not kick me off my set. I'm a real I'm a real director. I'm a real producer. I'm a real EP on my first motherfucking show. Period. Okay. So if I got up and walked off so that you could stay and continue talking to the other people on my show, just know that's what it was. It's more about, <laughs> it's more about the show than it is about me. I oh, so she couldn't hit, finish her interview with Jocelyn. I could sit in the background and watch that show. The Puerto Rican princess. And I'm still going to get my check. If you was all that, you would have walked off the money all together. Okay? That's what Janet Jackson would have did. That's what a real what a real bag would have did. Janet Jackson is crazy. No, you stayed in that two dollar dress with that fucked up hair and that fucked up makeup <clears throat> with your funky ass under armpit smelling <laughs> like a goddamn dog. <laughs> Bro, I feel like she be lying when she say somebody stank like that's her favorite line. <laughs> <laughs> you sat your ass on that mother couch my couch auntie's couch and you continued your mother interview right in front of me so we appreciate you for pulling up we do and how you really should have came was hold on let me make sure i get it all out in one breath <laughs> how you really should don't lose your breath now thanking us for coming on to the same network as you so we can continue to provide for that ass show you got <laughs> you don't know what the f you're doing that's why I f up. what you tried to do was come on that show talking about other subliminally and telling us we can't talk about this and we can't talk about that but you was gonna throw shots at them we don't do that nah you, you we're gonna talk about what we want to talk about on our show okay at auntie's house we don't come to auntie's house and throw shots at a mother and then hide our hand you tried to come talk about somebody and not meanwhile my daughter is on that show so i wasn't gonna let you pick a show that my daughter is rocking with right now i would have i would have been a hypocrite so if you was trying to throw i don't know who was the puerto rican kid I, that's all i know <laughs> that's all i know that's all i'm gonna say okay? okay thank you for pulling up you sat on my couch you did and if you was a real you would have got up and left that but you and that two dollar dress needed this promo because you know this shit is about to be legit the best shit you ever seen in your mother life and you wanted to be first on it I, I can't wait to see it i know this is about to be a hot scorching steaming mess let you sit on the couch because we will be reacting to it on patreon ski ep on that day. i'm not a guest on the show you a guest on the show so take your two dollar dress and your up makeup and go somewhere and sit the down and, and so we can pay for your shit. and what you should have did was thanked us you coming on aunties and shit wasn't sweet you was sweet as a you kept sitting there because if a <laughs> would have drew me and made me my trauma pop up i'd have walked the off that bitch. you wouldn't have seen me no more but what you did was you ran to the back you got your little attention you tried to act like oh my god i'm the puerto rican Kid, and they're doing this and they're doing that and you set your ass back on that couch girl it's about to be a lie from them every other day every time they have a special guest this is gonna be a mess now when y'all go watch this episode see if i'm lying and i'm still gonna collect your damn and i'm still gonna help you with your mother raggedy ass show damn now go run tell that you got the right one today mother just like i showed you on that set you ain't get jiggy with me like you do everybody else because you know I'm the auntie not to play with. Oh. Thank you for staying. I appreciate you. I hope your sh go up with our sh and I hope that promo help your black ass out. <laughs> and she got back in her uh 
and her uh I don't even know how to say that hotel name, but in her bag with her robe on at her hotel. Okay. Girl, listen, I'm here for Carlissa getting a coin, baby, because that's what it's about. Everybody deserves a bag, okay? All right, y'all, so Jaden went out on a date yesterday, uh, if not day before yesterday, whatever, and she went out on a date with the Bookster. This was her last date with Buki. Buki posted this, coincidence or nah. So they recently went out with each other, um... And quite frankly, I know not too many of us are speaking about Jaden. Some some people are, some aren't. Um, I still can't even say anything about nothing until I see him get out of jail. I need Blueface to get out of jail so I can proceed with my Krishan and Jaden comments, bro. Because I don't know where this is about to go. He kind of got me fooled right now. And I know some of y'all sick of it and you're sick of me. I'm... I, sick of myself i think he might come out and he might be cool you know what I'm saying? i think he might be cool and i think he might be picking Krishan girl but that's another topic for another day um also this is why carlissa said something to um jocelyn uh jocelyn says so proud of myself you old aunties thought i was sweet but you sat on the sidelines of your own ish never come for a flower that grows through concrete or one that has built an immortal empire thank you and good night stay tuned wearing the latest per usual okay so that's what's going on with her as well y'all this just a whole lot of whole lot of okay and uh that's where i am with that yeah all right, y'all, let's get into Charleston White and Junior, his comments on Junior. But what's the conclusion of a toxic relationship like that? Uh, Hold one, on. But what's the conclusion of a toxic relationship like that? Uh, one of them go to jail and one die. They severely scar one another. Mm -hmm. And it causes childhood trauma for whatever child they produce. Mm -hmm. You spoke about the child. Do you want another thing you can take? He gonna kill that baby. Yeah, yeah, she finna drank that baby into the graveyard. She gonna smoke that baby long ago. I bet that baby have a respiratory infection. It gonna have asthma. Uh, what else that baby gonna have? Yeah, yeah, that baby gonna be cross-eyed. They definitely don't care nothing about the baby. He been trying to get the bitch. Baby gonna be cross-eyed is real ironic with these eyes, but okay. To abort the baby. He might got the bitch drinking her douce in my own kind of shit. <laughs> I mean, I take Ooh, that back. I hate that uh, country. It, 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 you if, said that. You said it, that. It, it, if there's anything, if there's anything that make me cringe that I've said, that I've been turning it, that I don't even want to hear because, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what? you don't have to repeat it. We'll yeah, just say you I'm, can go yeah. do the research. You take that one back. See, yeah. you have a heart. I knew, I knew the Charleston we were gonna pull yeah, out. Yeah, I hate this. I see that poor baby, man. I be saying, man, I should, man. Yeah. But but there is something to be said. Yeah, God about, forgive me. That yeah, that's one of them. God forgive me. But there yeah. is something to be said about um, responsible parenting and, and you know and and being careful well, what you show on social. Let media, me just right? say this. I always say, I can give you a logical explanation and a reason on why I've said some of the most horrific things that you've heard me say. You may not agree with it. I'm not going to justify it. I can give you a reason on why I said it. And, and my reasoning for saying that uh, is because I was highlighting uh, the lack of prenatal care. Uh, the, 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 I was talking about the things that a mother can do in her actions that can cause damage to the, the fetus while in the womb. And that's something I don't disagree with. However, it's just ironic to me how men always speak about what the hell a woman got going on in her womb and i mean even when that ain't even your child you know what i'm saying so it just this don't this ain't got nothing to do with Krishan. it's just men you know what i'm saying I always trying to speak on what the hell you got going on in your womb and then your who hide up in your situation i hate that anyway um but you know the smoking especially with the um the backwoods and shit like that girl was doing a lot. And if she was just out here drinking Hennessy like that, that's a lot. Now, it, come on now. Whether that's fighting, arguing, drinking. That too, but he wasn't making it no better. And if you ask me, Blueface ain't innocent in that. 
Because, hell, he, he is one of the enablers. Smoking. Whatever the woman does during the pregnancy affects the child. Whatever the father does to make the mama feel, the baby feel. So I was, I was speaking on that, uh, just, just using an a ugly delivery to get the message across. Right. Okay. And well, you take it back. Asshole. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That, yeah. 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 Because when I look at the baby, man, uh, yeah, yeah, my heart weak. Uh, because I tell children all the time, and man, that kid might hurt me. That kid gonna hear me say that shit one day. Uh, I tell kids all the time, whatever has happened to you as a child is not your fault. Mm -hmm. No matter what it is. Uh, you didn't ask to come here. You didn't ask to be born. You were just born into uh, conditions, uh, situations, and, and circumstances that's just out of your control. Uh, so no, I, I offer compassion for that one. Sure. Well, what's the conclusion of a toxic relationship? Uh, you too late, nigga. But anyway, um, as a grown ass man, as an older grown ass man, you just don't say shit like that. So anyway, um, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Girl, I'm trying to find y'all everything that I can find because there ain't nothing going on as dry as uh, the Sahara out here in these streets. All right. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.